<laughs> Firstly, I would like to thank everyone for coming and making this day special for Jamie Lee and Patrick. So if anyone who doesn't know who I am, I'm Jamie Lee's private chauffeur <laughs> and also a dad. <laughs> I would like to say how beautiful Jamie Lee looks and that she has made me really proud dad. It was an honour and pleasure to walk her down the aisle today. She is going into a beautiful young lady, an amazing mum to Freya. I would officially like to welcome Patrick into our family as mine and Lisa's son-in-law. In the years that we have got to know Patrick, we realise how much he loves and cares for Jamie Lee, so we know they're in both safe hands. And he also comes in handy when my car needs fixing. I'm sure you agree that we made such a wonderful couple and we wish you both many happy years. So on that note, please could you raise your glasses to Patrick and Jamie Lee. Now I'll pass you on to the groom. Me? Is it me? Oh sorry. Oh sorry. Top pocket, you know. Thanks, Colin, for them kind words. Right, big thanks to everyone for coming, because uh, I know it's hard it's been for some people to get here, but it wouldn't be as special and good without everyone here. Also, a big thank you to everyone for your gifts and cards, because it means a lot, and it's going to help with Vegas. So, uh, yeah. I, now, I know it's stereotypical to say how the bridesmaids look beautiful, but you do. I mean, especially the youngest one. But... Uh, I thought they weren't supposed to upstage the bride, but, but it's, not, it's not just about how you are. I'm about the youngest one. Shannon? Freya. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's all right then. Straight, straight over there. So. But yeah, we can't thank you enough for how much you've helped us both. Here we go, the tatty, Turn yeah. Head. PTO. <laughs> Not only for helping out today, but for the whole time we've been together. And um, we've got some gifts that we hope are just a small amount of, of our appreciation to you all, like, because it's not a lot. But to Erica, my sister, where are you? Soon to be mum to my first nephew. Preston fan, probably. <laughs> but honestly, the best sister I could ask for, I couldn't, don't want anything else, so. Thanks, and uh, we've got you something if you want to come up and get it. Oh. What? Are you getting them? Yeah. This is my time consuming bit. No, it's to say that. <laughs> say that Get in the corner. She's giving out, dishing out. Right, to my, to my sister-in-law, now, um, who most of the time you like more, Jamie Lee sort of thing, but anyway. Shannon, she knows how much we both love her, especially Freya with her auntie Shan Shan. So, I know it might take three bottles of vodka for her to speak to you. If you've never met, like, you know. But she knows, I know she's a right laugh and the best sister-in-law anyone could want. So we've got you something to uh, say thank you. Have, you. have you got it? Yeah. There you go. Thanks a lot. Uh, to Jenny and Ash. I'm doing you both together, by the way, because... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you're both my longest serving girl friends, so, yet you still like Jamie Lee Moore, but whatever. <laughs> Bit of a theme going on here, I think everyone likes her more, but whatever. You're both amazing, and you both have brilliant families, who we both love so much, so, but yeah, pr without you, we probably wouldn't have got as far as we have, so thanks. Thanks for everything.
Thank you. Where's, where's Kara? I've not got much to say about you, like, but... Uh, <laughs> like, the most likeable girl I know, I mean, with the most infectious laugh. Everyone will know that. But you've been a brilliant friend to both me and more Jamie Lee. And uh, for years and years, so you're not going anywhere. But yeah, thanks for everything, because, I mean, you're brilliant. Thanks. To all the little bridesmaids, Olivia, Caitlin, Grace, Ellie, Hattie, and of course Freya. Shannon. Shannon's, got Shannon's not a little bridesmaid. No, <laughs> you all look beautiful, and we've got something to say thank you, I mean, for helping today and everything you've done, so thanks. Oh, where's, and. Where's Freya? Uh, Freya's is in a like a where is she? <laughs> Shannon. Should be some more. That's that one's Hattie's, the box one, and that one's Freya's. Has everybody got? Where are them? Where are them ones for you? Huh? The two bag ones for your dads. Freya, look. It, oh, over there, Piddy over there. I'd like to thank all the ushers for doing pretty much nothing but well I wrote this speech though before I realised how much you'd done and you know that's off to you done a little bit I'll save you the embarrassment of being invited up individually because uh, I know you're all quite here but we've got you a little something as appreciation of being good mates to me Jamie Lee and Freya thanks a lot thanks guys together It's going well. I hope it gets better. Well, <laughs> hey, crescendo. <laughs> Jay, yours might be down there. George. I ain't got Sam anything. Yes. Uh, in the speech. Oh, I just mentioned it now. Chris, yours is down there. Have you got him somewhere, is it? Shannon, it's down. Have you got it there now? Shannon, is there any more presents down there? I've got get my mum, your dad and I've got that, I've got that. <laughs> no, where are they? <laughs> Where's Sam's? <laughs> Chris, sorry. They're only behind her. Okay. Chris, we left yours on the plane that you never got on. Who's <laughs> 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 that? <That's... laughs> I know he's taking photos now, but thanks to Sam for taking all the photos and just being really good about it today. Like... I'd also like to thank I'd also like to thank my mum and dad who've been brilliant and so supporting ever in ever every way, especially financially. But also Colin and Lisa for the same. Um, because you're probably the only people who take my side when we have an argument. So but Freya is so lucky to have you both sets of grandparents because you're both brilliant and just do more than what we do. Uh, <laughs> more than what you do. Uh, yeah, yeah. But to the one person in the room who I owe the biggest thanks is Jamie Lee. After 10 years, she still wants to marry me, so I must be doing something right. But firstly, thanks for single-handedly, I mean, like, without me, planning and organising this whole day. You look absolutely stunning. I'm sure everyone will agree. Thank you for marrying me, putting up with me, and giving me the most beautiful daughter in the world. Aww. Can we all raise a glass to my beautiful wife, Freya's mummy, Jamie Lee. <laughs> Thanks to John for helping the day go smooth. I mean, it's been brilliant without you, so 
without you. It, it, <laughs> you get me? Yeah. Uh, I've now got a Pasha on for one night only. <laughs> An audience with the self proclaimed comedian, <laughs> my best man, Michael, B I mean, uh, my dad. So thanks. Right. Thanks for that, Piddy. No pressure then. Hello, everybody. Hello. It's not a bad start. Are the minutes ticking by. Yeah. Right. <laughs> when Piddy asked me to best me, I wondered why. He's got a load of mates, but I think he was saving the uh, embarrassment for me rather than his friends. But it, it was, I was chuffed and proud, like, but it wasn't long before it turns to the speech. And originally they were going to get married in Cyprus. And I thought maybe 20, 25 people were going to be here. But now look, there's thousands. <laughs> and then, as the best man, I'm supposed to tell you all the sort of shenanigans, I had to get that word in that Piddy got up to. Well, they were only 16 when they got together. And before that, he wasn't going to come and tell me any stories what he got up to. And after that, he's been a very good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you? <laughs> anyway. They were only going... Out, check this out. They were only going out with each other for a couple of weeks when Piddy was arrested in a multi-million pound fraud and smuggling operation. <laughs> I know you were. I'm coming to that now. <laughs> this all happened while Jamie Lee was on holiday with her family. And she was frantically ringing and messaging home to find out what was going on. And, and Colin and Lisa must have thought, what sort of family is my daughter getting involved with? A thought that was strengthened when we went on holiday to Budapest. Anyway, so the relationship went from strength to strength. And it wasn't long before Jamie Lee moved in with us. The house was a bit crowded with Piddy, Jamie Lee, Daniel and George all in one room. <laughs> can, can, can you imagine that? Anyway, it sort of, it prompted me and Ruth to get the loft converted. But work was delayed when Jamie Lee decided to see how work was progressing. And she went up the ladder and promptly put her foot through the ceiling. But eventually we had room. <laughs> Living together, there were a few embarrassing moments like walking in on the bathroom or the toilet and things like that. But the most embarrassing thing happened was me coming home from work, Jamie Lee. And she was watching Orange is the New Black. I'd never seen it before, but it's set in a women's prison. And I walked in as there was a steamy sex session going on. <laughs> and it was lasting ages. <laughs> So Jamie Lee finally stood up and said, that's enough of that, and turned the TV off. She was bright red, I pretended I wasn't watching. <laughs> I know it was, it, for me as well. After a while, they moved to Littleborough, and it wasn't long before Jamie Lee got pregnant, and Piddy showed, he was, showed us how to be cool in the situation. On the day Freya was born, with Jamie Lee in labour and in pain, I went down to Littleborough to see if I could help in any way. I asked where Piddy was. He's asleep in bed. <laughs> Came to reply. Eventually, the baby was coming, and I found myself with Erica in a kitchen come staff room, listening to a cacophony of screams and moans. No, I know. Hang on, I'm coming to that, Jamie. Me and Erica were listening to the screams and trying to decipher them to see if any of them were Jamie Lee's. But they weren't. But then a message came on my phone from Piddy. Get in. I read. My first thought was that the baby was here. But then Joey Garner equalised in a 3-3 draw <laughs> in a top of the table clash at Deepdale. The home of football. Amen. Yeah, little Freya was born. <laughs> little Freya was born and now they were a family and they got on with their hobby of moving house and organising <laughs> wedding venues. St. Martin's been the third one. 
Talking of St Martins, I'd like to thank the parishioners for nearly getting the hashtag, pray for Chris, trending on Twitter. <laughs> for those that don't know, Chris wasn't allowed out of the country on the stag do, but a little bit of generosity and divine intervention, he got there just in time to see Ronan celebrate a goal in a way that's never been seen before. In fact, it's gone down in Hungarian folklore. They will talk, they will talk for years about the strange little team called Burnley and their even stranger fans. <laughs> right, I'm going to have this one right now. Anyway. <laughs> Once we ventured more than 30 yards from our apartments, we had a great time in Budapest. <laughs> and a good laugh. I think Matt Warwick deserves a mention for keeping spirits high and morals low. <laughs> I have a little message. I've, oh, no. I've got a little message from Matt here that will give me the pleasure of reading. Good day, good day from down under. That's as far as the Australian accent goes. Absolutely gutted I can't be at the wedding of one of my best mates. Although if, it, if it's anything like the stag do, it would have ended up costing me an arm and a leg, not least because of bloody Chris Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assumed he arrived in good shape and wasn't denied access to the ceremony. <laughs> as fun as the stag do was, we all knew this day was coming. And the pity we know and love will be gone forever and Jamie Lee will become one of the 1.5 million Giddingses that inhabit the <laughs> northwest of England. Although, to be fair, I don't think getting married will change anything with pity. I remember before Freya was born, he told me he would still be playing, five playing football five nights a week and out drinking with the lads the other two. How's that working out, pity? Four, four nights. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you all both had an amazing day. It's all downhill from here, I guess. I mean, what could... <laughs> this is a private little joke, this. I mean, what could possibly top a bald, wet, meatloaf lookalike standing up in front of a room full of people reading a two-week-old email? <laughs> all the best. I will crack a tin of 4X and raise a toast of you from 10,000 miles away while re reminiscing about the time I scored a hat-trick in Budapest and relegated Stephen to the couch. Get in, love Matt. <laughs> so, I've I, I practically done now, but I'd just like to say that we're proud to have Jamie Lee in our family. She's like another daughter to us and a sister to the rest of the family. Bridesmaids look beautiful and are beautiful. And I've worked hard to make this a special day. But saying that, there's enough of you. <laughs> so can you all stand and raise a glass to toast Pity and Jamie Lee, the bride and groom. Yes. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Thank God. Hooray. Sure.